Welcome to the Postmark Departments. My name is Jason Fairbanks. I am the maintenance supervisor here and I will take you on a quick tutorial on how to work items in your home. The first item that we will go over is the thermostat. The thermostat controls the heater in your living room. The thermostat will be programmed for the date and time. To operate your thermostat, press the button up for temperature up, push the button down for temperature down. To turn the heater off, Turn the off button and it will display off. The next item that we will go over is the garbage disposal. The garbage disposal is meant to take small food items. Items that it cannot take is seeds, stems, and bones. You do not want to put excessive amounts of rice or pasta as it can clog your drains. To operate your disposal, you want to make sure the water is always on first. Once the water is on, turn it on. Make sure that you put everything down the drain. Once it is down the drain, you can turn the disposal off and then the water off. If for any reason it does not start, it possibly needs to be reset. The reset button for the disposal is located on the bottom and it's red. The next item that we will go is the ceiling fan. The ceiling fan is located in your living room and also in your bedroom. It is operated by two switches on the wall. The left switch has a top and bottom. The top controls the speed of the fan. The bottom controls the on and off of the fan. The right switch controls the light. The light is off or the light is on. The next item that we will go over is your ceramic cookout stove. You want to make sure that you use a product designated for it as not to damage it. Upon move on or move out, you want to make sure that you do not place any boxes on top as it could cause a fire. The next item that we will go over is your stack washer and dryer. The washer is located on the bottom and the dryer is located on the top. The controls for the washer are located on the left hand side. The controls for the dryer are located on the right hand side. When loading your washer, you want to make sure that the items are dispersed evenly, as if not, it can cause it to be unbalanced. If it becomes unbalanced, you want to take one item, transfer it to the other side, and start it up. On your dryer, you want to make sure that you clean your lint trap after every use. Lint trap is located on the bottom. You want to clean that after every use, as if you don't, it can possibly cause it to not dry properly, or it can possibly cause a fire. item that we will go over is cleaning the drain in your bathtub. This is called a zippet. We will leave one in every home. The operations on how to do so, you place the zippet inside the drain, turn and pull out. Hair will be coming out or anything that is stuck in there and that is how you clean the drain of your bathtub. The last item that we will go over is emergency maintenance requests. Emergency maintenance requests will happen after hours. Normally, if you have a toilet that is not running, if you only have one, or your fridge is not working properly, or cooking utensils that do not operate properly. If that were to happen, call the leasing office. When it goes to the answer machine, it will have prompts, follow the prompts, and it will direct you on how to do so.